Hi there, and welcome to one of my little challenges. Yes, I'm going to put aside the good old hot sauces and give this little challenge a go once again. Now, the reason I'm doing it today is because I totally forgot I had it sitting up there, right? And it is from the Inferno Candy Company. Now, if you've seen my videos in the past, you will know that I absolutely love the products from Inferno. Um, they're all tasty, and I've definitely got the heat from low to high. And this one here is a challenge one. Now, that is the good old Mad Mac and Cheese. Now, we've got it already uh, here. I've just got the good old cheese to put into it. And uh, what's in here is a challenge edition pepper, super hot pepper infused Mac. Now, if we look over to the good old web page first, let's get that one over and done with. It says here this challenge level is between 5 and 10 million. Now that's their um, description of it, okay. This is admissibly hot. Mm -hmm. I'll click on down. This assumption is based on the, created on the Walmart Scoville unit. So that's them saying what they think it is, alright. And I've got here, this challenge edition uh, we'll be working on for a while. It took 13 months of testing every cheese right, we could get our hands on before we finally had a winner. I'll let you know just shortly. Uh, the cheese selection is just a small part of the ingredients required to make our mad mac and cheese what we had envisioned. Of course, it wouldn't be a true inferno candy product unless, unless we unleashed the fury heat into our mac and cheese. We've added diced um, Naga Viper, Butte Joker, Seven Pot Primo, Trinidad Scorpion, Kinda Reaper, Scottish Bonnet, Habanero Peppers, and Komodo Dragon. Just into the mix. So, let's get that one out of the road. Now, there's no time limits with this, but what I'll do is I'll eat it, and what I'll do is I'll just do the usual five minute afterburn. I also have no disclaimer to do, but we'll just say it, we'll just say it right here and now. It's me that's doing it. Nothing to do with Inferno Candy Company. If anything, it's going to go wrong. So, see, so I've got it here. Let's get it opened up. You can see it. Man. And there we go. Ooh. You can smell the pepper as soon as I opened that. And there's the first thing that I've just noticed. A good old pepper. Now, let's get it mixed up. You can see it there, right? right you can see it all there. No idea because there's still some fluid in it. Right? But you can see the peppers that are in here. Right? Everything is there. Now, let's get the cheese in there and get this challenge up and running. That smells spicy as well. I'm going to have to do it. That packs a punch as well. Ooh, there we go. Wasn't expecting that. I thought everything was in, <coughs> was in this. You can see me mix it all up here. You can just smell the pepper, by the way. Make sure the cheese is all mixed up. So. That's it already, put it back in the good old plate. So as I said, this is the Mad um, Inferno Candy Company. Just about said that wrong there. 
Mad Mac and Cheese Challenge Edition Super Hot Pepper Infused Mac and Cheese. You can see it all there now. Well, well mixed up. So let's get this challenge up and running. You can just spell it by the way. So, Inferno Candy Company, are you going to light the big fella up today? Again. First thing you're getting, you're getting the cheese, but you're also getting the flavours of the peppers. Actually, very, very tasty. And that's one thing about Inferno and their shelf. Everything they do has got great flavour. I'm not going to mention the heat it now until it's all finished. All I will say is the flavour, definitely. But you can see all the pepper inside it, and that cheese itself. Obviously, <coughs> has some of it in it there. Okay, we have your lunch. We'll see. That's a lot of heating. I'm not used to this much. Do the customary five minutes. So 
Well, I'll take you that one. You don't see it again. No hand left. Don't even call it a cheat. When it comes to flavour, if you love mac and cheese itself, they do have another version as well, that's not a challenge edition. <coughs> um, you get the normal mac and cheese flavour, obviously, but then the heat comes in. Now, being a challenge edition, it's definitely up from the normal. Now I've had the normal one before, uh, a few years back. I really enjoyed it. But this one here, you definitely feel the difference. I would say, now I've just been doing hot sauces now. I uh, haven't been doing a lot of challenges. So, I'm going to say my tolerance to now. It's a little bit lower than what it normally is. I'm going to put this at a 2 for me. Uh, a good 2. It's in the back of the throat. It's in the ears. Uh, it's nowhere near a 3, but it's a good, good 2. And that, on my scale, is pretty high. Uh, if you are a non chili head, I think you would struggle with that. Us chilli heads, you'll eat it, no, pro no problems at all. Depending on who you get with your tongs. But for me now, I'm setting a good two. Uh, now well done, Inferno Candy Company. Really, really nice product. It's a lovely tasting product. It's definitely got the heat behind it. As well, it's a good challenge product something i was having to give myself today because i do have a few challenges coming along and are endurance ones every single one of them three of them at least uh, maybe even four uh, when they get here but i won't go into it i won't let you all know what it is until they're all here uh, but this one alone, that's the last of the products that I have sitting here. Believe it or not, I got them last October when I was on holiday. I'm going to restock myself when I go over there this year. Um, but I would tell everyone, click on their webpage. They've got some great, great non-challenges. They also have some great challenges as well. That will definitely push certain individuals. Um... That there, it's already starting to wear off. Um, but it was a good two. I'm now at a low one. <sighs> good way to start your day. Well, that was lunchtime for me. <sighs> Minute to go. Oh, it cost away five minutes. Now I'm going to have to find something else to do. But honestly, no complaints with that challenge at all. What am I going to do next? Plus I've got a little bit of tingle to them, as you would expect, wee bit. Overall now, it's, it's virtually gone. No. Boom, there you go. Another challenge, done and dusted. Um, the Mad Mac and Cheese 
from a thermal can of company. Hope I'm that right, pal, right? There you go. Alright. Absolutely lovely. Great tasting. Lovely burn. Something I definitely need today. So there you go. The Inferno can of company. Cracking product once again. You guys, click on their webpage. Get their challenge products. Because trust me, they will push you. Okay? Always enjoy this very short video, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.